Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches. Sharktober! The finale um, of um, Sharktober. Num, 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 gah, 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 num, 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 num. Well, it's only fitting that um, this be the final chapter. Um, I mean... Where else? We can't go anywhere from here. <laughs> yes, I think this is the proper culmination of Sharktober, and that is Ghost Shark! <laughs> I think this is actually what started the idea. I was gonna say, I think that as well. So even more apropos. Exactly. First things first, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Go to trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. You'll need it for this one. I don't know. This one was rough for me, but just saying. We'll talk second about thing, it. Second thing, shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month or more gets you early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties. Oh boy. it was. This one was a lot of me just being like, Oh, get out of the water! It's a ghost shark! Ah! I had a great time. I mean, uh, it seems like you had less of a great time. I also had drunk some vodka for the first time mm. in maybe seven months. Um, <laughs> so that may have hindered my, uh, or or help, really helped. Um, I think it probably helped. But Stu and I thoroughly enjoyed this trashy, trashy movie. Had a great time. What's happening? What the fuck? Love it. Well, I I guess speaking of, I think that this is the perfect game for the Movie Bitches Sharktober drinking game uh, that I mean, we have been slowly adding to yes. over the course of, of the month. <laughs> we had to, you know, get a, a collection together, curate it. Exactly. You know, really. Yeah. Weed out the good ones, <laughs> get it together. <laughs> The Sharktober drinking game, just in time. You could pick one of, you know, your favorite shark movies and watch that on mm -hmm. Halloween, since it's on a Saturday. Yeah. And drink and have a blast. So yes, the first of the shark movie motifs, the main character or or someone has a bird friend. Or there the birds are some sort of harbinger of yeah. things, or there's metaphors with birds, or birds interacting with sharks. There's birds. Yes. I loved that that was a Jeopardy clue of Steven Siegel. Oh, oh lost my mind. <laughs> well, I was like, what? They, they're talking to me right now. What has happened? <laughs> also shocking that um, when putting together the list for Sharktober, I looked at a lot of shark ranked lists. And the sure. Shallows was listed as one of the good ones. Good ones in what sense? That's Honestly, at this point, what are what is a good shark movie? Honestly, it's Jaws, and then it's literally everything else. I have I, yet to see a legitimately good shark movie that is unironically. I'm watching it unironically. Right, exactly. Like, oh, I'm I'm scared by this movie, or like, oh, this movie's a thriller. Instead, they all just become so even, stupid. You even know, like I guess Open Water was. Like, it's not mm. fun in that way, but it still wasn't good, was it? Right. I don't know. I never saw it. Mm. That was the, like, we're scuba divers and we're stuck and there's sharks. The whole movie was, like, not one take, Ugh. but, like, they're just... Yeah. It was like my dinner with Andre, but with sharks, you know? <laughs> now, Wallace Shawn starring in Open Water. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway, the theme of birds also can branch out to the theme of dogs and dog friends yep. or dogs um, being harbingers yeah. or warnings <laughs> towards sharks. That is also very yep. much on the list. I added one that I think should be what, like if a shark is lured out of the, the depths of the ocean previously never heretofore seen. Yes. Right? I think that, I mean, maybe that's just Megalodon specific. I feel but like there's I enough like... Megalodon movies at this point that that's fine. Right. Well, and also it, seemed, it sounded like Raging Sharks was a sort of similar um, thing. They weren't brought out of the depths. A crystalline alien artifact landed right. and made them ra raging. I had a right. theory going, because I was like, well, if it makes the sharks raging, surely anyone that comes into contact with it will become raging. And I mean, 
it, the movie does not tell us this per se, but everyone <laughs> does get very agitated and start fighting oh. with each other by the end, so there can be a thrilling conclusion. <clears throat> thrilling. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and say it. They were all raging. Okay. Was there a raging crab? No. Is that a thing? Just What's like, that? No, I don't know. I'm just, oh, like, just like thinking about like crabs are like aggressive. Yeah, they're like yeah, and they're like down there on the ocean. They're like, ooh, this thing, ooh, raging. No, I'd know. love that. Um, no, <laughs> one that was is very specific and was um, I was shocked at how often it came up. A Zippo lighter saves the day. And I or think, does it? Not in this one. Hmm. Or or fire in general is used ironically to kill a shark, which is habitually in in the water. That is true. Fire, fire and sharks. I mean, I guess that's the point, right? You know, it's like the same thing with dogs where it's like, oh, dogs are the antithesis of sharks. And it's like, okay, what's the antithesis of water? Fire. So of course that's what only humans can use to defeat the shark is fire. I have made fire. Wow, I haven't thought about that in a while. We're going back right. to our roots, you know? Fire, yeah. man, shark versus man, all of that. Yep. First of all, I, I guess one that I, I have to add, I might expand it. Originally I said, okay, drink any time that a shark hits a boat and rivets pop out. It hits a boat but so I, hard that yeah. the, the rivets and the bolts, bing, 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 bing. But I would say maybe just drink any time a shark is ramming into a boat. When does that happen in real life? Never. Unless it was like, oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh, a boat. <laughs> like, like, right? Oh, what? Uh, somehow I lost my concentration as a shark and I ran into this boat. Oh my. But like to actively ram a boat just no. seems counterintuitive. Is it, if it ever rams a boat so hard that it crushes its hull, did you waterfall? Oh my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that might only happen once, but yes. A hole, hole. Do we drink if the shark eats someone whole? <laughs> yes. Another one that um, I think has appeared in every... Now, let me think about this. I think this has appeared in every movie we've watched for Sharktober. Uh, Bad acting? Well, I mean, that, that doesn't... That's not an exclusive to shark films, let's just say that. It's true. But the um, final scene being... <laughs> All of our friends are dead. Right? Except um, that's not actually what happens in the movies. They're just like, <laughs> <laughs> credits. There's no remorse. There's no guilt nope. or surviving, survivor's guilt. It's just, <laughs> Megala who? You know, it's just, it's that. Megala? <laughs> Megala who? <laughs> Celebration yeah. at having survived shark attacks uh, and yet all of your friends are dead. Yeah. I guess at that point, you just finish your drink, right? Yeah, if you Movie's haven't, over. if you haven't, then yeah, you finish it. <laughs> yeah, bottoms up. It's a chug. I don't know. Bo- yeah, there you go. Oh, also, one more. It's a rare find. It's, um, it's a megalodon, if you will. Drink any time somebody flips a shark off underwater. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because the shark knows what that means. Of course. I have to imagine that that happens in 47 meters down and or uncaged. I feel like more likely in the second one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe in both. I don't remember a lot of the first one, I'll be honest. I feel like it was pretty boring. Yeah, it was fairly boring. At least the second one had the weird creepy aliens that this kind of reminded me of. That's true. Or the witchery craft. The cave of runes. Okay, let's get into it. Ghost shark. So this movie I put in the same category, not as good, but in the same category as Snakes on a Plane, where they know what movie they're making to a certain extent. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, it's called Ghost Shark. Right. It's a shark that's a ghost. Yeah. We get what we're doing here. Yeah. People are kind of in on it, but it rides that line where it's not... It's not Sharknado where you're like, well, I don't, no, I don't subscribe to this. It's right, it's right on that line. Uh, the bad acting helps because it's not purposely bad acting. There's a difference. Right, right. It's just bad. Yeah. And that's more fun. Yeah, I don't know. I found a lot of this movie to be tedious, mostly in terms of the pacing. You know, every scene had a sunrise, sunset, and I was like, we get it. They had to pad for time. Bam, yeah. bam. 
Seriously. There's like eight different movies in this movie. I didn't feel like the pacing, for me at least, again, there was vodka involved. I didn't feel like the pacing was slow because it would be like, oh, it's been like three or four minutes since that ghost shark has shown. Oh my God, it's the ghost shark! <laughs> Here it is! And it did something hilarious. Well, and then I guess the other thing for me that really took down the mood was that it was a lot of mopey teenagers just being like, our friends just got murdered in front of us. And I'm like, well, on one hand, that is realistic. On the other, but, a lot less fun. No, but then they'd be like, oh man, I can't cancel the pool party. party. Damn it, the pool party. People are gonna start showing up to my house any minute now. What are you talking about? Fuck, the, the pool party. Let's make it a memorial. Except we in no way made it a memorial. Nope. What if we turned it into a memorial? Yeah. You're seriously talking about a party? So, like, I didn't actually care. Although, I will say, Stu thoroughly enjoyed this film. Wow. And was, like, rooting for the characters. Was like, oh, no, I don't want her to die. And I was like, wow, Stu, oh. you really got invested in what was happening. <laughs> I'm excited for you. <laughs> I thought I'd lost him after Shark Attack 3. I thought he was going to say, no more sharks. But, you know. <laughs> He came for one last, yeah. one last bite. We lost Brian at Deep Blue Sea. He was like, that's the only one he cared about. And I think that it was like, okay, I'm good. For me, it never stopped moving. Um, I don't know why, but like that's a shark. what happened. So it's like a shark. Honestly, though, yes, yes. Um, it starts and we're on a rickety old boat in the middle of the sea. It's definitely not a pond. And um, <laughs> these two. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. Maybe, maybe we add to the drinking game, like extreme redneck caricatures show sure. up. Sure, sure. Because, oh boy, this relationship. Hey honey, can you put that damn camera down and pull my reel here for me? At first I didn't realize they were father-daughter. Uh, right. I was concerned they were married and felt that was very wrong on some level. <laughs> But then I think she called him Pop, and I was like, okay, oh, everything's okay. okay. They're reeling in an amberjack. We are going to catch the biggest amberjack that this town has ever seen. Or is it a trout? Well, what is an amberjack? I don't know if you can see this, but that's a picture of an amberjack. Yeah. I guess that's what their fish look like. Sure. 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 Where is this supposed to take place? The bayou? There was like a thing, I, like swamp... But, Tours. But then it was like um, very Martha's Vineyard with the I with like the colonial lighthouse and the yeah and like those those thin little wooden fences and then I, I for a minute there I was like are they in California actually though have they been shot I, I couldn't figure it out yeah I could not before 1803 Smallport was the Spanish province of Ensenada Cabo okay let's just step back real quick yes. The town of Small Point. Is that what it's called? Small, small port. Small port? The yeah. town. Oh, they really. So, they okay. They took their time. Oh, yeah, they did. Naming that one. So, Ghost Shark, the made for TV movie that follows the story of a group of teenagers in a small town who uh, have to figure out why the town is being attacked by a ghost shark that can travel through water and eat anyone. There was so much lore. So much lore. Um, what I really appreciated about this movie, it was giving me Dante's Cove vibes. Welcome to the Hotel Dante. Very that, very that. It was it giving me- more um, like aggressive making out and, and witchery. I would have loved yeah, that. A, like a ghost, we'll get there. I feel like a ghost should have shown up other than the shark. We'll, well the, the wife ghost kind of did, but but like she should have been, you know, the shark's been working for me this whole time. Oh my God, right? Ah. Um, also like in his little dungeon, it was very like, ooh, the powers of treesome, you know? I was like, okay. Oh, very that. Where's it the fake thunder me, and lightning? <laughs> oh boy. It was also giving me like the fog, like very like mm. the ancestors that founded this town right. did something that I still don't, I'm not sure I quite know what that was. Well, did okay. We find out? Yes, I think sort of. There was that bad actor museum guy. So 
That oh was boy. the other part. It was like part. listed as like third top build, by the way. Wow, it's like museum crazy. curator, so and so man. And I was like, what? Ah, you think what's going on in town has something to do with the old legends and ghost stories? That was the part that was giving me Hocus Pocus vibes, right? Where there's It'll like very all of this lore candle. and there's a witch and we have to set them free before the time. Otherwise they'll turn into, you know, there's like. There's an entire local museum filled with dioramas. Filled with them. Filled. There's so many dioramas. Yeah, right. Well, okay, so Ghost Shark, Ghost okay. Shark. Okay. I would say, if you haven't seen Ghost Shark, I would say get drunk and watch it. I, I would. Okay. I had a fun time. It was Good. very silly. And there's enough like, what? That kept me engaged in what was happening. So for me, it's a recommend okay. before, if, before we spoil stuff. But I don't know, Amy, Andrew can disagree. No, I mean, you know, I, um, I watched it in a different place and time. I would say don't watch it by yourself in the middle of the day sober. Watch it yes, That was with... not the right, yes. <laughs> watch it with I other people. Opposite. Have plenty of drinks ready to, to be made and consumed. And I think it'll be a lot more fun. Have like Bloody Marys. Ah! <laughs> okay, so go shark. Yeah. Two of the reddest red necky rednecks are trying right. to get that amber get an jack. amberjack under the time limit because there's an amberjack competition and they're going to win $30,000 if they can reel it in before midnight. Apparently. And the ship's captain is the only one keeping like the, I'm going to, if you don't get it in before, I'm going to yeah. look out. Um, a shark comes along, uh, eats their $30,000 fish. I mean, and the retribution of this, oh my it, God. it went so far. I mean, I was almost on the shark side at this point. Bam, bam, yeah. bam, bam, bam. Shoots the shark. Yeah, they shoot it with a gun. Then an arrow, crossbow. Throw it up with a grenade. Yeah. There's a grenade. Maybe that's on the drinking game. A lot it's of grenades and sharks. Kill a shark with a grenade. Smile, you son of a bitch! <laughs> yes, sir. Do people just have grenades lying around? I don't think that's safe. Well, you know, they've been decommissioned from the submarine, and so they just grab a few before they. Yeah, you know, it's fine. I just picked them up. No one was counting them. Then they pour hot chili sauce. <gasps> Here you go, you son of a bitch! I hope that hurts! Into <laughs> the shark's mouth. Fuck you, shark! And then they shoot it with an arrow. I was like, what am I watching? The accused? What is happening? This is horrifying! <laughs> this poor shark! And then the shark somehow floats into a cave? Right, the origin of ghost shark. So yes, they've brutally murdered the shark and it floats towards a cave that has nondescript runes and hieroglyphs of yeah. sorts yeah. written. And I mean, the transformation, of, I mean, I was very excited. Oh, yeah. This is better than just like, oh, for no reason, it was a ghost shark. Like I like right. that they were like, there was a magic cave with the spirits and runes yeah. and the past and the town. And yeah. like, there was like shit going on. We were like, what? what? Yeah, okay, I'm into yeah. this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so Ghost Shark is born. Right, yeah, the, the, the hieroglyphs glow blue. There's a giant Ooh. blue glowing vagina cave. Um, Woo, Sandy Coves, you know. Sandy Coves. And then Ghost Shark is born, immediately comes back and exacts its revenge. And just... <laughs> just... Oh my... So yeah, so then the movie actually kind of starts. And um, we're in nondescript small port USA. Yep. Again, what feels like a lake. Someone's like, ooh, look at that Again. water. There's like the tiniest little wave. I was like, this it's is... It's very much a lake. Yeah. It seems. <laughs> there's like a marsh. Yeah. I don't know. Um, there's somewhere where there's water. <laughs> And, and a lighthouse. Uh, we start to. Oh yes, and a lighthouse. Oh, the light. We'll talk about the lighthouse. And the lighthouse keeper. Good thing that the shark can't go through liquor. <laughs> we meet our for our characters. They're all teenagers. And this whole discussion. This was weird. I mean, it's all ADR. But there's a bitchy blonde lady. Uh huh. And then brunette girl. Yep. And bitchy blonde lady is like, oh my god, you're never gonna get a boyfriend with that ugly, fugly bathing suit that you have on. And I was like, you're wearing the exact same top in different colors. <laughs> you're literally wearing the same top. The bottoms, I'll grant it, slightly different. 
but not by that much. You're never gonna get anywhere with your prude mood or that hideous swimsuit. <laughs> Where'd you get that thing anyway? Your grandmother's closet? What's wrong with it? Nothing, if you're trying to stay a virgin. I just couldn't get over that they were literally the same bathing suit. Sure. I just, I thought the costume designer would have thought, Perhaps we should put her in a one piece, like or... a tank, a tankini. You know? Yeah, oh, my mom wears those. You know that kind of thing. <laughs> Something. Everyone's hanging out by this lake and um, cruising around. The uh, mayor's son has his new jet ski. He's right. trying it out. Ooh, it's gonna be fun. And the two main sisters. Now I'm gonna be honest. I don't remember one person's name except Blaze, because he's just Blaze. Being Blaze. Being Blaze. Just Blaze being Blaze. When I was like. His name is Blaze? Blaine? His name is Blaine? Oh, that's a major appliance. That's not a name. When they said he seemed he familiar. Blaze, he seemed like vaguely like the son in Hereditary. It's not that person. But oh, like... okay. He was in Greyhound. Maybe that's where he was like a, a helper in Did Greyhound? Did I see that film? No, that's the terrible Tom Hanks one that I told you was garbage. Oh, right. But he's there's like in Lucifer. In it, so you probably remember him. He's in Lucifer? <laughs> in one episode. Uh, by the way, since we're talking about it, I finished the first half of the final season. Oh, but they renewed it, by the way. Oh, good. They're doing another season. Um, oh, boy. It doesn't disappoint. It really just... I keep waiting for it to jump the shark since we're talking about it. It just gets better. It just oh gets God. more... Uh, it's a bigger shark every time, and it's on <laughs> fire, and I just... Love it. I love <laughs> anyway, it. Ghost Shark. Oh boy. Well, I mean, I, I tickled me pink that every time the Ghost Shark showed up, it looked like it was a Force Ghost, and I was like, "Ooh, he's hanging out with Obi Wan and Yoda." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it just was like, yeah, absolutely absurd. Yep. Every time it showed up, I cackled. Yep. Lost my mind. So yes, they're all hanging out on this lake. I, I really expected bitchy blonde girl to to hang around longer, but she is immediately eaten in half. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just take half a shot for that because she wasn't eaten whole. Fair, just she in was half. Eaten in half because, I mean, she's like literally, oh boy, this was. So, yes, they're hanging out. Um, the mayor's son literally says, I'm on a jet ski. Love that. It was very um, the beginning of Deep Blue Sea. We're having a party. <laughs> We're having a party, man. We're having a party, man. <laughs> Four person party, and you're here. We're having it. It's a party. <laughs> <laughs> She's, She's happy. happy. <laughs> but yes, I'm on a jet ski, and then she starts to get attacked. Oh, what's this? Oh my God. Oh, stop, throws... stop playing with my raft. Oh. Stop playing with... He, throws, he throws his friend off. Fuck you, I'm gonna go save blonde girl. Rude. Yep. Um, goes to save her. She throws him off. Fuck you. I'm going to save myself. And then immediately gets eaten in half. The ninja zoom in on her. I laugh so hard. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so the sheriff shows up, and I have questions about the sheriff. Sure. I feel like he's working for the sharks. I can believe your friend may have been eaten by a shark. It's the description of that shark that I am having a hard time with. I won't believe them that there was a shark attack. He well, he won't believe them as, that it's a translucent a ghost, shark. That it's a ghost shark. But he is like, we have to file a missing persons report. As if everyone on the beach, all of the elderly grandparents and that they could get to be extras and then the kids that they actually cast didn't see her eaten in half. Right, yeah. They were like, well, she's just missing. She'll come back. No, she was nope. eaten in half. Where, where are her legs? Did they, they should be around. You should look. Yeah. Dredge the lake. Anyway, it really made me laugh. Yeah. Um, well, and then I loved this weird dialogue of, oh my God, my poor baby girl. And then it was just like, now we'll just keep walking. It was such like a weird direction. It was like, wh what? Something got her in the water. No, we, we, we don't know that. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, I just see, I really, um... It really got me. This felt like a different movie. Yeah. This was some other movie. Yeah. And they're like, well, I guess we'll just head home. We'll walk. About okay. That's not really the... Right. What? 
Blaze keeps trying to get them in his car. Let me bring you home. No. Please. Really, it's okay. We'll walk. I'll give you a ride home. No, no. it's fine. We'll walk. Okay. And then, like, later it happens again. I was like, what's happening? Yeah. Why don't you let me take you in Sicily and we'll go do something? We'll get something to eat. What's going on with Blaze and his Bronco, his convertible Bronco with a back seat? That was very cool. I was into it. There hasn't been a shark attack in small port in 21 years. Okay. Okay. Well, there was one mean? today, buddy. It was a there, ghost shark. I don't, it was a ghost. Ghosts are real. As real as the lies this town was built on. I mean, do we think he would have believed them if they had just said, a shark ate our friend in half? We saw it. That wouldn't have solved the problem in that they would have been looking for a shark in the water then instead of a shark in any water. Oh, boy. I just loved all the times that the sheriff would just be like, you're reckless, you crazy girl. And she'd be like, "There's here's literal evidence of what has happened. I don't... And he was just like, you, get out of here, you brat. And she's like, I'm... What? what? <laughs> get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh, my God. That dad was a horrible... The mayor was a horrible actor. Horrible actor. Get back to Tumman before I blow off your head. But, okay. Truly. So, now, here's what I don't understand. So, yeah, the, yeah, you know, yes, the shark then, you know, makes appearances and continues to eat people. We never really find out why. Because it seems to just be anyone that's in water. Opportunity. Um, I think it's just pure revenge from its brutal murder. <laughs> I hope that hurts. Smile, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Just, I'm gonna murder any human that ever comes in contact with water then. They shot him with the gun, they blew him up with a grenade, they poured chili sauce on him, and they shot him with a crossbow. I mean, that was overkill. Now, how um, great would it be I'd if be it was too. like a local hot sauce company, and then the shark Ooh. hunted down and murdered all of the people that made yeah. the hot sauce? Or or he could, he could smell it or something. Like instead of blood, it oh. smelled the hot sauce. And if you ate the hot sauce, mm -hmm. then you got attacked by the shark. Love it. I like that. Yeah. I like that quite a bit. Yeah. It really t ties into like local businesses. Yeah. Yeah. Support yeah. your local businesses <laughs> and go sharks. They still have the pool party at night, day oh for my night. God. I was confused this ADR a lot of times as to what time just it like, was. Oh yeah, because their dad is stone cold missing. Like right. the mayor is like, we gotta find I'm going to assume her name is Brittany. I'm not sure if that's the case. I don't think anyone's going to be looking at your eyes, Taylor. No. we got to find Brittany. She's missing. What about our father, who was also... I kept expecting the dad was going to show up because it As seemed it too sad that he was just fully dead. Yeah. So their father is missing. Their friend was eaten in half in front of them. Yeah. And, I mean, you guys, I invited everybody to this pool party. I can't just call it off. Pool party, my house, 8 o'clock. Yeah! Well, he does have some sort of excuse of, like, people invited friends of friends, and so he has no idea who's coming, and that the only way to shut it down will be the SWAT team or something. I'm like, the only way this thing is going to get canceled is with a SWAT team. And my sister's sorority friends are driving in from Houston. What are you talking about? Fuck, the, the pool party. You could literally just be like, no party. Last email, um, Brittany is dead. Right. Party text, off. Text all of your friends that you did invite group, and say, Group text. You guys, Brittany was horribly murdered in front of our faces. By a ghost shark. Really upset. Ghost shark. <laughs> when he was like, We'll just like make it a memorial, right? That'll be cool. And then the two sisters are just like, What? Our father is missing. You're seriously talking about a party? And then there was this weird thing. He's on his Blackberry. And then their friend just pushes him into the pool. It was like belly flop as if a belly flop was, yeah. I'm going to hug you and push. What? I don't know. And then they were like, you got to lighten up, man. It's not like our friend was just eaten in half in front of us earlier today. And like, I just pushed you into the pool with your expensive electronic cell phone. What? Lighten up, buddy. Have some fun. Well, also, like, you think he basically he's sitting on the side of the lake the whole time. And he says, I don't swim. Right. 
And she says, don't swim or you can't swim. There's a difference. Mm -hmm. Also, they're talking about his crush that he has on the older sister, and the older sister is like directly behind them. What's your sister's excuse? Why? You have a crush on her, don't you? So what if I do? She's only the most boring person who ever lived. Oh my God, you mean that huge crush you have on my sister? And she's right there. Like, what is happening? Like, what is going on? The ages I was confused by. Anyway, you think there's going to be some big dramatic thing. There hasn't been a shark attack here in 21 years. I don't go in the water. You think there's going right. to be some kind of like, oh, he was almost killed by a shark. His parents got nope. murdered by a ghost, the first ghost shark. And nope. The, the, the town killed. Nothing. He's just like, oh, I just didn't feel like it. Yep. And then I did later I was like, yeah, I'll swim. So that was fun. So this pool party. Yeah. Oh my oh god. Boy. So yes, they're all hanging out at the pool party. This was also very the Lost Boys in that there were randomly just like really aggressive people from other parts of town that were they just They had tattoos, so they were bad news. That was right? That's what the movie told us. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm gonna do a gainer in your pool, man. <laughs> Now I'm doing a gainer in your house. <laughs> Woo! And he dives in and then the shark just, just ah, comes out of the ocean. Ah, and then his head pops Pop, off and lands on someone's beer bottle. I loved it. It was great. I had a great time. Oh my god! Ah, there's a shark in the pool. And then, okay, and then this was so confusing to me too. Their friend is trying to get out of the pool, and rather than swim to the side right next to him, he l swims the entire length of the pool trying to get away. To the, to the diving board, and he's trying to get up. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, loved it. <laughs> oh, loved boy. It. Yeah. Oh wait, we didn't talk about we didn't talk about the lighthouse keeper at all. We find out there's a mysterious lighthouse keeper. Yep. Now again, I really thought there was going to be some kind of mystery yeah. surrounding his character. I mean, I guess there kind of was. I thought there was going to be like an actual mystery and then he was like, "So here's the story about how I murdered my wife." Yeah. Things could get ugly between the two of us. And Alice she would tend to get violent when I made her mad. And then I strangled her. You know, sometimes I like go into a rage and... Right, well, there was, we would get into fights and she would always get really violent. And I was like, she would get violent? You're telling us how you were fucking drowning her. What are we talking <laughs> about? strangled her underwater, sir. I lost control. By the time I realized what I was doing, it was too late. That was wild <laughs> to me. When he just was like, and then I murdered my wife. Murdered my wife. Confession time. Yep. Oh, okay. So he's got this lair yeah. in the lighthouse. There's like a suit of armor. I was really, really, Stu and I had a theory and we were so sad it didn't come true. We thought at some point he was gonna put on the suit of armor oh. and fight the shark in the suit of armor. And oh boy, I would have loved to have seen it. I would um, love that. <gasps> Ooh, I think that's what we need now is some sort of like a knight's tale jousting like, meets sharks. Instead of shark knight, it's shark knight. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, now that's an interesting question. I've always thought of sharks as prehistoric times and 20th century times. I've never thought of sharks like, oh, hey, I live in a village. It's medieval times. Like, oh, my God, it's a shark. You know, I've yeah, never thought like, of that. Right. That's literally never occurred to me before. But like they've been here the whole time. Sure. Yeah, like dragons. You know, it's like, let's just take like a dragon movie, but then we make it a shark. Yes. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. This is great. <laughs> yeah. Now, is it like a knight, you know, with mm -hmm. a K, who uh, at some point is in a castle mm -hmm. and, and there's a saltwater moat. moat. Full of sharks. Sure. I don't know where the conflict you know. is arising quite yet, but we can figure well, it out. Well, I feel like the sharks are working for the night somehow. Oh. There's like some kind of Merlin sorcerer person, and there's like, you know, the shark is his army in some way. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Yeah. I like that a lot. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. There definitely has to be sorcery. And like some wicked yes. plan of like, I'm going to use these sharks to get my way. And then it's like, mm -hmm. oh, thank God there's a, a knight in shining armor to help protect us and, yes. and beat off the mm -hmm. sharks. Yeah. Be <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. The image. 
pinch the imagery. Oh no. Oh no. I want to see it. Medieval shark. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Medieval shark. Like I can see the poster and the yep. evil is like a different font. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's spelled like it. E V I L. Yes. Yes, it's spelled like yeah. medieval yeah. shark. Yeah. Um, yes. Yes. Love it. Yes. Uh huh. Very much excited about all of this. I mean, we've just opened up a lot of shark possibilities. Yeah. Let's be real. Yeah. It's always like whales and shit, like Moby Dick. It's not like, oh, then there's a fucking shark. Shark. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, we're pirates and then, oh, there's a fucking shark. <laughs> I'd watch the shit out of that movie too. Yeah, sure. Pirate shark. <laughs> and that ties into the bird. Love it. Love it. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, so um, the, he yes, gets eaten so off shark. of the diving board at this pool. <laughs> oh boy, yes. Nom, 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 nom. And then there's, you know, like, a, it's everyone runs away. Right. There's a, there's a, a massacre that has occurred. Yep. You gotta start telling me the truth right now. What, what, what type of drugs was y'all on? Bad songs? And the sheriff and the mayor still, what kind of bath salts did you guys snort? Did you start eating each other? Just tell me, son, tell me. No, it was the shark. I mean, to be honest, um, I don't know if I would believe them at this point because no. it was like a pool and, you know. Yeah, no, I would absolutely have the same reaction that he did. I mean, I'd like to think my heart would be open for a ghost shark possibility. Um, so maybe. <laughs> But no, they do not believe. I mean, this was like, it was, again, like we talked about um, Deep Blue Sea was just like a horror movie where it's like, oh, Jason's right. killing, you know, people. Are, this is the same exact thing. Like, dad, people are getting killed by this serial killer. Oh, come on, kids. That's just an old wives tale. Right. So go shark. You know, it was right. very that. It was very that. For me, I really almost wish that it was a little bit more like Hocus Pocus in that it would be like, the no like no one gets hurt in hocus pocus except for at the beginning you know and so right, like right. if it was like oh here's the origin of the ghost shark we see it happening but then for the whole movie it's just haunting this group of kids as they try it's and solve a, the mystery it's more of a haunting and less murder exactly you know? oh no it's the ghost shark you there's know? like the potential oh. threat of murder still yeah but yeah, it, yeah. It, no one actually gets well, murdered I think the bathtub scene really is the the scene that would represent the movie you you were asking for the most sure yeah oh my god so, that was a close call it, oh, it ate her whole no, in this I, bathtub wanna, but then spit her back out i i okay we got to talk about this we got to talk about this first of all this queen size bathtub yes please <laughs> what the fuck was this it's like a jacuzzi in their house it's very freddy krueger you know like the claws are coming up over you know all of that the shark woo, woo, it's good and you're i was like oh oh she's fucking dead she, right the dad's dead the sister's dead holy shit oh no it spits her out yeah she's got a cut on her leg now this is what i want to talk about potentially for the rest of the review the brace that they make her is that is i mean at first i was like is this a series of headbands and then i was like no it seems to be a series of tiny belts and then I was like, are they dog collars? Are they watches? What is happening? Just buckles and buckles and buckles of tiny. And one was like gold. Belts. One was like. <laughs> this was the single most insane thing yeah. in the movie. Yeah. I also. Honestly. I was like, what is going I on? I couldn't stop staring at it. I was like. <laughs> are they doll belts? Are right? they. Yeah. Maybe they were. What is this? Because I was like, Who owns that's... 25 doll belts? Well, right? I mean, because it was her thigh. So it's not like it was like, a watch isn't going to fit around that. But it did look no. like they took apart her swatch collection. Maybe they were a series of dog collars? Why did they have all of these dog collars? What happened to all there those is, poor dogs? There is no answer and there is no explanation. But I could not get over it oh every God. time she showed up and there wasn't even like oh we have like the extra flappy bit you know when right. your belts no you wear a waist belt too high and you got to tuck it under you go, what am i going to do with this you know you have to worry about that kind of stuff nope they were just the size of her thigh yeah that was what was they were straight across it wasn't like they wrapped a belt several times and then latched it or something that's no yeah single strand belt yeah i was so confused 
I had a lot of questions about this. <laughs> I don't think we're going to ever get to the bottom of it. But, <laughs> but later, she takes one of whatever it, in fact, is on her thigh and picks a lock with it. <laughs> That's what I was confused about, too. Step aside. Because <laughs> she used the prong of the belt? To, like, did to... she just pick a lock with a dog collar? What has <laughs> happened? What is going on? <laughs> that was insanity. Insanity. Pure insanity. Yeah. Then these are the choices that I'm like, that wasn't a purposeful choice to be dumb. They thought, oh, what do people use for tourniquets? Belts. Great. We'll just use a bunch. It'll be it'll be like kids stuff. Kids will make it. Yeah, it'll be great. Like that was the thought process. But it's insane. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, so, you know, the, the sheriff doesn't believe them, the mayor doesn't believe them, and he doesn't want to release a statement, Wait. even though 13 people have been killed. I mean, it's just, it's wild, it's madness. It's, it's the Wild West. When she steals the oh. camcorder footage from his, I was like, I want that file transfer speed. What is this, Silicon Valley? <laughs> the Pied Piper shit? What is this? She's like, bloop, put a thumb drive, bloop, gone. Nailed it. I actually really liked her character for, I mean, for what it is. She was like, on it, I'm stealing this footage, I'm doing this, blam, 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 blam. Like, I was excited about it. Yeah, I get that. I guess I just wish that um, she was better as an actress. Do you? I mean, yeah? <laughs> Yesterday you were talking like you knew something about ghosts. <clears throat> Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Ah, fucking car. Speaking of cars, can we talk about something that also had me so confused? There's these kids that are setting up a slip and slide. Of course, oh that's boy. a shark slip and slide. I think that was my favorite death. Because <laughs> it was so stupid. I mean, this movie went there. Children were murdered yep. by a shark. Yep. Eaten in half. Yep. And I laughed gleefully. At I it. mean, you know, yeah. He's done for. <laughs> but so, okay, so one of them just is like, oh, never mind. I'm not going to go slip and slide with you guys. I'm going to pour mud on the windshield of this car and then get in it and drive it. Who left the keys in it? The way this was put together, at first it seemed like the child was just vandalizing the car, and I was like, right. what the fuck is this? Like, yeah. he's just like, yeah, eh, mm, fuck you, I... stepdad, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. And then, no, he's, he's like, I'm going to say 12? Yeah. Young. Yeah. Young. Steals the car because he wants the sexy bikini car wash ladies to, you know, rub their tits on his windows. Right. I was confused that all of these sexy bikini car wash ladies we're just like, oh, hey, small child who drove this car. Did he pay them? Did he have money? Where did he get the money? Hey, <laughs> I think the real question is, why was the driver's side window down and why was no one doing anything about it? Thank you. But even, like, could he even reach the pedals? I don't understand what was, like, this was crazy to me. That everyone was just like, oh yeah, that kid's driving this car. We'll give him a car wash, sure. He put mud on the windshield, so we got to wash it off. I, I just couldn't get over the fact that that window was down. Right, I the was whole like, time. Hey, sexy. <laughs> He's 12. Yeah, that was crazy. And then he doesn't die, though, but they all are eaten they are in eaten buckets. And nom, 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 yeah, nom, oh my nom, God, nom. right? Yeah, they're, they're beaten <laughs> into the bucket. Like, um... It was very Fargo. It was very, like, wood chipper. Ah! Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was the toilet scene, too, later on. Oh, I mean, I mean, you were just waiting for it. Because yeah. that's what I mean when, like, it's similar to a Snakes on a Plane, where you're like, they're not going to go, like, oh. okay, here's X amount of, here's 10 things we can do that are increasingly more insane with snakes killing people. Right. And that's what it did with this. It was like, how much crazier can this ghost shark get it's raining ghost shark, and I'm having the best time ever. <laughs> yes. We'll get there. He gives this guy a oh, rim what? job on the toilet before eating him in... <laughs> but then just leaving half of his, his legs and body, 
they were too Ooh. tight, they wouldn't squeeze through, so he just left. Look, you know, he just, he just, he doesn't finish a meal. He wasn't a kid from the Depression era. He just eats half. He knows when to quit. Eh. So yes, the plumber is eating, the oh, children right. are eating. What kind of shitty plumber was that plumber, by the way? I was like, turn the water off. If you're fixing a leak, you're going to, like, oh, I can't tighten I mean, it. There's more yeah. and more water coming out. Where was the water coming from? I was so he confused. He should really be the one that would be safe from it, right? the shark, because he knows how to control the water pressure and stuff. Yeah. Turn that shit off. No. He didn't. It didn't happen. No. And then just ate him from under the sink. It's so stupid. Oh. So, yes, people are, I mean, the the, the water slide one really, that oh really God. got me. I just, <laughs> I loved it. He's so, he thinks he's so safe. And then they start to kind of get into the lore and they're talking to crazy old right. drunken lighthouse keeper. Yep. Who, the whole movie, I was like, I know him mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. something. Ah, it was driving me insane. And it's from this totally obscure, terrible, bad movie with Brigitte Nielsen and Sam Raimi called oh. Galaxis. I've played the clip before oh. where he's like the bad guy and he's like, whoa, whoa. What? <laughs> Sam Raimi's like, oh no, oh, it's really, I'll play it here now. Yeah. I can help you. Y yes. So, you want to make a deal? Yes. <laughs> Let me see. What do you think? so ingrained in there and I was just like I know this person he must be famous no I love that but yes the sh the cave doesn't it only takes things away it doesn't bring things back it was very uh, pet cemetery in that way mm. oh you're just gonna leave your leave your pet shark in the cave it'll come back as a ghost you know right sure sure just in, just in case we need a ghost shark who doesn't so okay so this is where it got really crazy for me where they're in the police station. The mayor and the sheriff are in an office together. And a guy- I don't have time for this. Right. A guy goes and gets a cup of water from the water cooler and then drinks it. And oh no, the shark is inside him. Blood's coming out of his mouth. Oh my God. He busts into their office. And then they watch as his body splits in half and a ghost shark comes out and is like, <laughs> <laughs> and then what? Because then later on they're like, well, this is crazy. Someone put out, there's a, you, what? You witnessed a ghost shark being born from a body, <laughs> sirs. <laughs> like, what they, is happening? Their, their faces, their faces killed me. They were just like, huh. Uh, like they didn't know what they were looking at. Right. It was like, it wasn't horror. No. My God, my assistant is being ripped in half by a ghost shark in front of my eyes on dry land in my office. <laughs> I also really wanted to get into receptionist cop lady yeah. who was just calm as can be. Yeah. Harleen, try and hold off Armageddon until I get back. All right, I'll keep answering the phones. Yeah. See you later, Sheriff. Oh, another dead body eaten by a shark? Oh, yeah, we've gotten a lot of those today. I'll send someone over. What? What's happening? Did you also notice that in the creepy lighthouse dungeon, I'm going to yeah. say, um, that his bed frame was a boat? No, but I love like, that. He was, like, sleeping in a dinghy, but the but there was a mattress. like. It... Of course. This was so weird to me. I was like... Is it his secret lair or is it like, but there's a bed down there. Does he not live somewhere else in the lighthouse? It also was very yeah. like Little Mermaid, like, look at this stuff. The Isn't stuff, it neat? Isn't it neat? It was very that. It was very that. Oh, because all the shells that his yeah. wife collected yeah. and stuff. 
you know, I, I don't think they really rounded out his character in no. any real way. The um, treasures, like all of these did... things that would wash into the cave from the shipwrecks because... What? Because Roanoke. Right? Oh when they start, when they brought up Roanoke, I was like, oh boy, this movie's really going there. Okay. Have either of you heard of the legend of the lost Roanoke colony? Yeah. They go to the Heritage Museum, Museum. of Smallport. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and the mayor's son, whom previously has never shown any signs of smoking, decides that he is going to catch a cigarette outside. I love oh, this. Right in, guys. I thought you it. quit. <laughs> So you quit. I did. You gotta go ahead, I'll catch up. They get to the historical museum and the right. curator, I oh mean, boy. he seemed like he had some bodies in the basement. <laughs> Let's be real. Very <laughs> that. Some of the infected were rounded up, brought to the cave, and executed. Soon after the murders, the angry dead rose up and ravaged the town. I was like, run from this man. <laughs> nope. Right but now. he also just seems to know everything about all of this witchcraftery in the town. Thank and God. And the way he was presenting it was so mundane. Right? Anyone who dies in the cave violently will rise again. <laughs> well, you know, here's this bloody journal from when everyone turned into zombies or something. She, he was like, and then they all murdered each other. Here's the last page of the journal that's covered in blood. And he's just like, yep. It just cuts off in the middle of her last page. <laughs> Arg! It doesn't say Arg! Arg! You know, it was very that. Um... Uh, he must have died while carving it. If he was dying, he wouldn't bother to carve Arg. Perhaps he was dictating. Oh, shut up. Well, I also well, love this, like, oh, here's this journal that we have in a, a cupboard that, like, at least he put the gloves on, though, right? It was better than fucking did. Princess Switch, Christmas Prince Christmas three. Prince, the baby, royal baby. Yeah, Glockenspiel. Now, would I be thrilled to watch a fourth Christmas Prince film that was the Christmas Prince, a royal divorce? Yes. <laughs> I would love that. Sure. I don't think they're going to make that movie. So yes, the mayor's son, oh, I'm done with this half a cigarette. Burp. Ugh, rude. I really... Yeah. What are you doing? Right? What are you but doing? also I thought that they showed him put it out. But anyway, whatever. So he throws it into the trash can that's full of newspaper or something. Lights it ablaze. There was so much water from these sprinklers. Like... Immediately flooded in like four inches of water. How long did the sprinklers run? There wasn't running? that many flames. Like well, there wasn't that many flames. That was the other thing for me that didn't. I mean, obviously none of this makes sense and it's stupid. But like those kind of sprinklers are heat censored, not ah, smoke censored. Smoke. So unless there was like a trash can flame literally underneath the thing, it wouldn't do anything. So it's even dumber than I thought. Yeah. Great. So the curator, I gotta put this cloth tarp over these dioramas. That'll protect them from the rain. It was like not a waterproof tarp. Yeah, I was very confused. I was also like, I mean, who cares at this point? It's too late, buddy. Like, what are we doing? My life's work. Ah, and then it, um, the shark eats and his hand, and then he eats, starts bleeding like, from his nose and mouth. Did it eat his hand? I thought it ate like his his arm. His arm. arm. He was also very calm in this moment. I feel like he's seen death before, you know? He was eerily like, well, well. ghost shark. And he wasn't like, my God, a ghost shark. Like, no one was ever like, oh my God, a ghost shark. <laughs> this one was very much of like, a lady, there's no shark in a bathtub. <laughs> Get out of the water! Shark? There's a shark in the water! Wait, there's no shark in the bathtub. <laughs> but there was a shark in the bathtub. There, in fact, was. <laughs> <laughs> Although, do you think maybe that the temperature of the water affected the sharks? Like, she's the only one that doesn't get eaten, and she's the only one that's hot in hot water. water. 
Maybe. It's as, it's as good a guess as we're ever, ever gonna get. likely to have. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to say it. Cool. If you're in hot water, like if that guy had drunk tea, oh, you right. would have been fine. Fine. Perfectly fine. Well, especially tea, it's steeped, right? That's not water anymore. It's tea. Mm, this tea is so hot. Oh, 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 I'm, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm, oh, 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 oh. Well, I also was trying to figure out, again, it was like, okay, the shark is eating people that are bad? Or... No, I mean, that child was just trying to play on his water slide. That is true. in half. Yeah. But then the other Speaking child of... isn't eaten in half, but the women are because they were calling the 12-year-old boy sexy? I don't know. I think... I don't think there's a reason. I think it is pure revenge. Okay. Just, I'm a shark. And, and I'm not... Nom, nom, nom. It's, there's no morality to the shark. Okay. It is purely... Fuck you, humans. You shot me in the face with a gun, blew me up with a grenade, put hot chili sauce down my throat, and shot me with a bow and arrow. The chili sauce was really so much. And I was so really, confused. He's like, get my hot yeah. sauce or whatever. And I was like, oh, it's going to be a gun or something. Like like a big, old, you know, like a huge shotgun or something. Like a sawed-off shot. Oh, this is like the hot gat- sauce. It's like right? a Gatling gun. Yeah, like, we'll get ready for the hot sauce or something. And then it was like, oh, no, it's literal hot sauce that he sprays on the shark. So much. I'd be mad too. Sure. But yes, so because it's his fault that the sprinklers went off, then of course he has to die. I was ready for it. Oh yeah. His character was uh, doing nothing for me. No, yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, I was rooting for the sisters. Blaze was there. Sure. His name was Blaze. Just Blaze being Blaze. Just Blaze being Blaze. Can we talk about, okay, now this is something I really want to talk about. The younger sister and Blaze are driving around in his Bronco. Yeah. And there's kids playing in a fire hydrant. Oh, boy. Or something. Yeah. With water. Get out of the water. Fuck you, assholes. Now, there's, I'm going to say, a a, a 10-year-old in this group and, like, a 25-year-old in this group. (laughs) That's the age range. Yep. Of this was children. very Lost Boys for me. This was very Lost Boys meets Little Rascals. Sure. I was thoroughly confused. I was like, where's Fagin? It's Oliver and his street gang. You know, it was very bizarre to me. It really was. And they're like, get out of the water. And then they're like, fuck you, asshole. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they actually said that. But basically their attitude was saying, yeah. get the fuck off of our street. Star turf. Yeah. And the, the smallest of the children seems to be the ringleader. Yeah. <laughs> eaten in half. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't two of them eaten in half? And then their little yes. legs and half of their torso, Wait. they got Darth mauled. It was like, what? They, they did. <laughs> they're like walking, the they legs are fact, still moving he a little? Is a force, he's a forced ghost shark, so... Force. It comes full circle, really. Yeah, yeah. His teeth are lightsabers. <laughs> Speaking of noises, the noises that the shark made, I, it sounded like Donkey Kong from Mario Kart, and I was having a great time. I can't even do it. Yeah. It was great. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, so the kids get eaten in half, and. <laughs> And then they're just like, well, we gotta keep moving. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's going to the cave and has a whole conversation about how he murdered his wife. She's investigating. She's on it. She's uh-huh. like, I'm getting to the bottom of this fucking ghost shark. Yep. Immediately. Yeah. Fuck you, adult men who mm. keep putting me down. I was not mad at it. She no. is doing it. I will say, I thought it was very rude. They didn't at least give her an apple box when she was talking with the lighthouse keeper because he seemed to be twice as tall as her. <laughs> at least. Maybe they wanted that, you know. It was very, it was, it was beyond like, oh, he's menacing and more just like, this is hilarious. <laughs> she looks like she's seven years old. Oh my God. Oh. Hi. <laughs> oh, because they think they have to kill... If they kill the ghost oh, shark right. with, with the, the weapon that killed the... it, the talisman of the weapon that killed it in the first place, 
That'll take care of it. So they try and stab it with the arrow. Which then makes I it explode. She stabs it and it explodes. But it's not dead. It's still a ghost shark. <laughs> I guess they needed the, the gun, sauce, the chili sauce, the grenade. a grenade, and the arrow if this was going to complete the puzzle. <laughs> this explosion was just next level. It was, it was, you know, did you did you use enough dynamite there, Butch? You know, it was just like insanity the amount of just well and then it takes so long for it to like fall into itself and whatever but wait we have to go back because before the explosion so they light the fuse but it's so long that right that it's outside and then of course all of a sudden it starts raining and so then the shark eats the fuse of course yeah whatever Uh, and then she goes to light it again but their trusty zippo isn't working Maybe it wasn't a zip Yeah, maybe, maybe not. It was, it was like a cheap just bit, a bit or something. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Notoriously boy. unreliable. Unreliable. <laughs> and then finally, yeah, oh, right, because then, then the old guy gets eaten. The, the lighthouse guy gets eaten. He does. This is I where... Mean, rightly so. The shark starts to really defy not only the laws of physics, but, you know, gravity and metaphysics, I guess. It this, was just this is where this is where it starts to <laughs> but, but it was just like hopping in and out of holes and puddles and oh, like Oh what boy. You, yeah. I was cackling. I was like, is it raining ghost sharks? Yes it is. I'm having the time of my life. Oh no! Ah! Dodge! Dodge! Thank God we're you under know. this shack, but now it it keeps getting closer and closer somehow. And it was it was like aliens, you know, it was like yeah. wah, 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 like right there. Oh so good. I loved it so much. And then, well, this was fun. Main girl takes care of fucking business. Yeah, of and course. she's like, I'm going to swim out there. And she has, there's like that moment of, you know, like oh, yeah. communion between them. Where it was very, um, that fucking Matthew McConaughey, Serenity. Right. And he's like, my mm. son in the water. And it was all very like, ooh, uh, maybe you're my dad. You ate my dad. So, right, right, sure. You know, yeah, this is for my dad. You murdered. Now I'm going to murder you. But they have like a moment of understanding of like, mm-hmm. I see you, mm-hmm. go shark. Yeah. I see you and I hear you, go shark. Yeah. Then the temple, the vagina cave has fallen apart fully yes, now. Yes. They explode the cave and, oh no, the go shark. <laughs> and they finally won. And then this was wild to me. I had to rewind it. They all run into the water. Yep. Uh, Blaze, who has herefore seen, Never. refused to yeah. swim. And he's just like, oh, I, I can swim. I just wasn't. Right. Hey, what happened? I don't swim. He said, I don't swim, not I can't swim. <laughs> Please play <bring> now. <laughs> and again, it ends on them just being like, <laughs> 45 people in our town were murdered. <laughs> Talks about Mick and uh, Taylor and your dad and. Oh, Cameron. <laughs> and your dad. What day is it today? <laughs> Tuesday? What day is it today? Not Tuesday? <laughs> I was wondering, how much time has passed? Does this movie take place over 24 hours? No, I, I don't think so, because they show the sunrise and or set over water several times, and I was very confused. Is it like a Fiddler on the Roof reference? Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset. No, I don't think so. I think they just needed to use more stock footage to pad the runtime to get it over the 80-minute mark. Now we're adding that to the drinking game. Stock Obvious footage? stock footage to pad the running time. Absolutely. Did I just say running time? I've been re-watching Firefly. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I did also love her final, you know, fuck you action action line where she says, Bite me, you bitch. Oh, right. Bite me, you bitch. Which I was like, oh, okay, so we're establishing that the shark is female. So it could be the reincarnation of her mother, in fact. Perhaps. We don't know what happened to her mom. Sure. We don't know how she ghosts seems to... and sharks work. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Or is it the spirit of the murdered wife put into the body of the shark. He was like, I wish that I could see a ghost of my wife. And it's like, you are a bitch. I don't know. Now that's interesting because we have already established that the lighthouse keeper's wife 
was violent yep. herself. Yep. Died violently at the hands of her husband, like the shark. Yep. I mean, not that the shark was killed by her husband, but died violently. <laughs> yep. Yep. I think you're right. I think that that ghost shark and that wife, that battered wife. One and the same. Merged. And that's where the rage and the revenge comes yep. from. Yep. And she's attacking the town that didn't protect her. Exactly. Oh, that sheriff, he's got to go. Except does the sheriff get eaten? So anyway, yes. Ghost shark. Oh, they, they beat the ghost shark. They, they, they live their lives on uh, with half the population of small port <laughs> having been murdered. Right. Including the mayor and the sheriff. I mean, it's going to be chaos. Chaos. In small port. Yeah. So, I mean, that's all there is to say about it. Uh, it's called Ghost Shark. You get what you think you're getting. Yep. <laughs> and a little bit more, honestly. I had a great time watching this movie. It's very bad. Yeah. It's very weird. Yeah. For me, it flew by, but I, you know, obviously don't watch it in the middle of the day by yourself sober. Um, but I'd say that about most shark movies. That's true. Thanks for joining us on this yeah. shark, sharky, sharktober adventure. Yeah. Now, I think... Next October, I'm going to finally put my foot down and it's going to be it's Halloween gonna be... Town Month. And I'm going to make you watch all four Halloween Towns. <gasps> the fourth one is real garbage, too. It's like they really, they recast it. So it's not even the same people. That sounds awful. But I think poor Debbie Reynolds no. might still have been. <laughs> the only Watching one. all four of the Halloween Town movies. Sounds awful. Can we just do one episode of all four? Maybe. Do they each require sure. A, sure. a singular? Because I was really hoping to do Hitchcocktober next year. Um, we can but do. I see what I see what you mean about. But oh boy, four weeks of Halloween Town. I don't know if I can. <laughs> maybe that. you're right. But maybe then I make you just. Maybe we watch all of them in one day as like a crazy oh. viewing party. Oh boy. We can do it! We oh go my god! Like, like increasingly crazy bonker. That would be fun. Okay. That would be fun. We can figure but yeah, it out. Yeah, I think I think they I'm gonna go ahead and just put it out there. I have not seen two, three, or four. Uh, that they don't really warrant their own episode. Probably not. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Just gonna put just gonna put that out there. Now that Sharktober is through, mm -hmm. uh, which was your favorite shark film that we watched? I think I actually had the most fun watching Shark Attack 3 because it was the perfect balance of stupid for me and really bad and it also moved along at a good pace that I was like, I mean, that, this is nonsense. Deep Blue Sea was the most real movie, you know? Yes. Um, and I could appreciate a lot about it. But yeah, I think I had the most fun in Shark Attack 3. It's truly a gem amongst trash so um i was gonna say like a gem amongst gems but like no. let's be honest that's not it's just there's a lot of trash and then it elevated it so anyway i i, I would agree i think shark attack 3 is the best shark movie i mean it is it is lightning in a bottle vis-a-vis -vis trash bad movies absolutely that is true so yeah putting uh, that out there okay cheers, cheers. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>